Hello, everyone. Uh, this is, as if you don't know her, because she's amazing, the one and only Hannah Shimmy. <laughs> Nobody knew that that was my middle name until you <laughs> exposed it. <laughs> and this is the mighty, the glorious, the very, very bad at taking compliments, beautiful. Lena Headey. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am recording. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Recording. Uh, <laughs> I think I got the measure of you on our first morning when you turned up looking ridiculously beautiful with a bare face at like whatever, 4 a.m. And we sat in makeup. I think we sat in makeup together that first morning. Yeah. Um, and I, I just kept looking at you going, oh, gosh, she's so beautiful. Uh, and I was going, even... you're a wanker, what are you talking about? After we had lunch the other day, out your way, yeah. Yeah. did you get a message on Twitter from someone saying, oh, so sweet, thank you for the photo. You know, there were a couple of girls that came up and, and, and had a photo. Yeah. One girl went, thank you for the photo. You guys are so cute. How long have you two been together? I knew it. Wink. <laughs> oh, my God. The cat's out of the bag. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think uh, Scepter and Cersei would be quite a hot um, uh, couple. Can I just say, uh, you see, this is why people are going to talk even more. Telly Savalis, when I was like eight. Oh, my God. One of my first ever crushes. Well, now you know who the daddy is. See, that's where it's come from. That's why that chick the other day at the cafe was like, hold on a minute. Do you know what I loved about that? I love the fact that she hasn't said, are you in a relationship? She's like, oh, you guys are too cute. I knew it. My first day ever on Thrones was standing at the top of those stairs. Do you remember? Standing at the yes. top of the stairs. And I went, and I was literally like, my daughter had popped out maybe nine weeks previously. So I didn't even know what my name was that day. Yeah. And I said to you, oh, my God, this is so epic. And David Nutter was doing his thing. And there were supporting artists everywhere looking crazy. And I was like, oh, my God, do you ever get used to this? And you were just like, you were so cool about it all. And I thought, I want to be like her when I grow up. I think I was probably terrified about uh being semi-naked for two days in front of 6,000 people. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people probably had the horn as well looking at you. Oh, stop it! I said my face would be the last thing you saw before you died, do you remember? Good. I'm glad to see your face. I'm ready to meet the gods. What? Now, today, you're not going to die today. You're not going to die for quite a while. Let's just talk about for a minute because it is, you must be beyond not so at the moment with your nomination. Well, yeah, because you know that I'm a bit of a, a bit of a knob and, a, and quite a basic girl. And I was, I was just, I fully expected it to just be genuinely. Well, you know, I expected it to just be deservedly Jason and the show. So we all go out there to LA and I was just like, in a hoodie, what now? What? The press are never awful to men. No one ever pays a fortune for a photo of a naked man on a yacht in Mallorca a week after his divorce. Whoa, that's like a very specific scenario. Oh my God, that means there's a picture of you naked on a yacht. Can I see it? Is it here? Oh, come on, you wouldn't have said something if you weren't dying to show someone. Please. Oh, I was taken from a helicopter while I was sunbathing. Oh, I feel like a teenage boy. I can't stop staring at them. Where did you get those? My mum. I can't believe you stopped this from running. I would have shown everyone. Right. I, I really need to get on. Oh, sorry, yeah. Mm. What were you like? The first time you were nominated, I know, well, I bet I know what you were like. You know, same. Uh, I think we're both pretty normal girls from town. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was just like, what's happening? 
Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You- and it's a weird, it's a weird thing because it's like, do, do they do they mean a, a thing? But of course it's a thrill when you're, you know, it's an exciting moment and then you get to go and... What's it like to be nominated? Oh, just the five times. That is chic, man. Uh, it's like... Uh, this. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. This is how it feels. Uh, what is hey. going on? <laughs> Headbutt you. How do you take your tea? Well, usually I take it right back to the counter because someone's made a horrible mistake. But <laughs> <laughs> when in Rome, right? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well? You know, I always figured that tea was just going to taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. Yeah, it's horrible. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. Welcome to England. On a serious note, looking yes. gorgeous in your green, um... I'm so well. I, t- I sent you a message when when I heard that you were nominated, and it's so deserved. And you're so wonderful in the show, and delicious, and funny, and sad, and brilliant. And um, I'm just proud of you. Thank you, Matey Bubble. And I Bubble. think it's wonderful. And you need Thank to go. I, I want to see whatever frock you turn up in. It's going to be amazing. Well, it also has to be comfy because I'm in my mid forties and it's all about the comfort. Listen, elastic waist and some pockets. Because you've got, put, you've also got to put a flask in there because they don't really serve you anything. They don't serve you. I need a, I need a definite pouch for snacks. I know what I wanted to ask you, which we never, we never really talk about, because um, I think both of us found it quite traumatic at the time. Yeah. Are are waterboardy or rather wine boarding scenes mm. Mm. in the old Thronios, um, people are always quite shocked that that actually did happen in reality and that it wasn't, there was nothing CGI'd. And, you know, I've, one thing I've said a lot is that both of us were quite uncomfortable about it, but as with all these things, you know that they're not actually going to kill you. So you just get on with it and do it. And it made wicked telly. And I just what I just wondered what your take on all of that was, because I think you found it quite difficult too, didn't you? But I bet you found loads of things difficult in your whole run. Well, yes, I mean, that was uh for you horrendous. Um and someone asked me about it the other day, and I was like, you know, as an actor, you've got Massive. We all have boundaries or no boundaries, as you know from working with actors. And then the no boundaries are obviously really thrilling when you can go to like a place where it's like, Bleh. but something like that where you're tied down. It made me feel horrendous doing that to you. No, oh, I no. remember. And do you remember me lying there, fully strapped down, going, Lynn, Lynn, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And you were like, Hannah, it's really not fine. You look yeah. like you're joking. And I was like, that. I go, and I got, I had to get them to try and fractionally loosen off the particular strap around my neck because I was like, I, I'm in a glugging mess here. And they went, yeah, well, that's because you're being waterboarded. And I was like, am I? <laughs> <laughs> you just get on with it. That's kind of, like I said, you, you know that they're not going to actually kill you. So get on and try and make a good one minute, 30 odd seconds of scene. And, and scene. And then you go home and you cry. <laughs> um, cry. And bruised and battered and purple And bruised hair. and battered. No, I know. It is a weird... You're right. It's like you just often put yourself in the hands of people. And I think you get... After a certain point of doing what we do, you sort of go, you know what? I ain't comfortable with that. So... But do you know what? I have to say one thing that that traumatic experience... Um, and you walking through the streets practically with your nunny out um, gave us was that... (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Was that you and I absolutely went like that because it was quite quite an old time of it, and I was really nervous. I was really nervous joining you on that because you were like Queen Lady of the Ladies... And I was some little knobhead that had had a popped a baby out nine weeks previously and was like, hello. Well, and then you met me and you realised also 
Bit equal knobhead. Uh, equal knobhead. Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know we couldn't have had two like more extreme scenes, and then you, you know, coming in and smashing me around the head with a wooden spoon, which. Which was actually rubber, just so people know. Do you remember uh, when I hit you? I hit you again and did an extra smack around your head with the ladle, and you looked up at me with with fury for a second. And it's like your jaw was in a different postcode. <laughs> Honestly. But Honestly. you know what? Just practically blowing smoke up your backside for a second. Mm-hmm. I remember then when we did the in season six, when we did the scene of you having all your hair cut off and the and the yeah. kind of sit marks and everything. I remember I was just off camera looking at the monitor and they were getting a weird old angle of looking like up underneath your jaw, and you had to look up with all the bloody marks and your face. And I remember watching on the monitor and going. That is how you do it. It was just magical. They just went, we just need a moment of you looking up in desperation and the the queen that everyone knows has gone for a second and you can see that it's a moment of going, how do I get through this moment? I have nothing. I have no one. Nobody's listening to me. How do I get my power back? And you do it all without talking. It was just brilliant. And then when I saw it play out on screen, I was like, yeah, that's how you do it. It was a tiny little tight moment, just looking up, and it was just perfection, total perfection. Mm. I love that you and I cannot take compliments, <laughs> even when we're completely by ourselves. I mean, I don't mean now. I mean, like the other day, even when we're completely by ourselves, I can feel every molecule of our beings going. <laughs> I know, and then you just have to do a little funny dance to get rid of it. After you've finished this brilliant show that you're so wonderful in, what is it you want to explore? Do you know what? I genuinely don't know. And it's, we all know this, it's really nice having having lots of lovely offers. But that next move is, I've I've got a couple of things that I'm doing now, but the next move is a very important one. And... I'm like you. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not kind of like grabby and hugely ambitious about these things. And I'm quite fatalistic about it. I think things come to you. Um, so there's a bit of that as well. I'm a bit like Han. Just chill your beans and have a little look. But you and I have definitely talked about um, doing something together, haven't we? I think it's a must. It is a must um, because. There aren't many people in an industry that you really dig and also think are all right at what they do. And that needs to be capitalized upon. So we'll have to get our noggins together and do that. Definitely. And then some other knobhead just has to uh, finance it. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) fair enough. (laughs) Fair enough. Fair enough. Who wouldn't? (laughs) (laughs) Um, right i'm gonna let you go because you've got little people my little person's downstairs waiting for next mama move are you going to um untie her from the chair now sorry ted i lied to you i hired you because i wanted this team to lose I wanted you to fail, and I sabotaged you every chance I've had. This club is all that Rupert has ever cared about, and I wanted to destroy it, to cause him as much pain and suffering as he has caused me. And I didn't care who I used or who I hurt. All you good people just trying to make a difference. Ted, I'm so sorry. You goddess of my life. Ah. My flatmate. My sometimes lover. Um, And always, always my favourite football team manager and woman in a wimple, 
Oh. I love you. I'm so excited for you. And um, bring it home. Flatmate love. <laughs> yeah. That's what we are. <laughs> we shouldn't be together, but apparently no, no. I, 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 no, no. <laughs> And you, being a lady, I, I love you properly, as you very well know. And I will see you very soon and lick up the face. Lick up the face. Mwah, da, 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 da. I love you. Bye, Fruit Loops. Thank you.